James Comey is uh, continuing his tour, and uh, the the best thing about it, I guess, is that it's annoying the right people, although I have to say it's also sort of annoying me, uh, and I am not necessarily the right person to uh, enjoy being annoyed. But with that said, um, the most effective thing that James Comey, I think, is saying, and, and look, because here's the bottom line. I don't think there is a scenario where Donald Trump loses politically any more than he's going to lose. In other words, uh, it's conceivable after he's president, he's going to go to jail. But and I know there are some who say, well, we don't know for sure if a sitting president can be indicted or not. This president will not be indicted but for an act by the Republican Congress and then the Republican Senate. Now, that may change after 2018. You may have a Democratic House, maybe unlikely a Democratic Senate, but Donald Trump's not going anywhere. However, it is, I think, probably of some value to have James Comey out there saying the follow following i don't think it's hugely valuable but it's at least worth um the minute and a half it takes to hear it so here is a an abc news report on uh james comey's expressing how the republican party has lost their way tv comey told stephen colbert that president trump's tweets attacking him are like a breakup that Trump can't get over. Comey has also been talking to ABC's Brad Milkey. Brad, good morning. Hey guys, James Comey has said a lot recently about President Trump, but when I spoke to him one-on-one, I wanted to know how he felt about the Republican Party because he used to be a Republican, and now he says emphatically the GOP has lost its way. In your heart of hearts, do you still consider yourself, though, a Republican? No, no, the Republican Party has left me and many others. Uh, I need no better evidence than their new website, which I think is Lion Comey, maybe, uh, attacking me. I I just think they've lost their way, and uh, I I can't be associated with it. When did you see that change take place? Probably over the Trump presidency, and probably began during the campaign of 16. Came to the conclusion that these people don't represent anything that I believe in. He went on to tell me he still respects some Republicans, Mitt Romney is one of them, but he doubts that he'll be stumping for anyone on the campaign trail anytime soon. He says politics still gives him that icky feeling. Yeah, well, that icky feeling is um, the feeling you get when you really don't know what you're talking about. Like, I can see saying, like, I abandoned the Republican Party because they have a website calling me Lion Comey. Okay, that's fine. Uh, But to argue that there is something fundamentally different between the Republican Party in 2015 or 2016, as opposed to, say, 2014 or 2010 or 2009, is is simply either deluded or or just stupid. I mean, there was no no space alien who came down and zapped the entire Republican Party. There's a reason why Donald Trump won the primary, because that's who the party was. Mitch McConnell in breaking those uh, Senate rules, I guess, or customs or just norms by not even holding confirmation hearings for Merrick Garland had nothing to do with Donald Trump. The idea that the uh, Republican Party would take someone like Max Cleland and a multiple amputee or a war vet and say that he's Osama bin Laden had nothing to do with Donald Trump. Lying the country into a war had nothing to do with Donald Trump. Starting a torture regime had nothing to do with Donald Trump. Cutting taxes uh, for the wealthy and attempting to cut things like Social Security and Medicare had nothing to do with Donald Trump. Denying hundreds of thousands, millions of people, Medicaid, insurance had nothing to do with Donald Trump. 
What what is different in terms of the belief set of the Republican Party in terms of issues? Now, granted, maybe now they're putting out websites saying Lion Comey, and they never did that before. But honestly, what what is I guess maybe he's maybe the reason why he's broken with the Republican Party is because now they seem to be okay with some tariffs on China. Is that it? Is that what is is that is that the big break? Uh, I, I mean, honestly, uh, if Actually, anybody can point also, out- I'm sorry. Uh, no, uh, Bush uh, slapped uh, tariffs on China too in the lead up to 2004. People don't remember that, but he did the same thing. I mean, what is it that James Comey? I, I mean, uh, maybe, maybe we'll just wait. Plausible concern that the current leader of the Republican Party was peed on by Russian hookers. I mean, look, that might that's, be that's fair enough. It would be useful if he would say, you know, part of the reason I felt so pressured to make that dumb decision about making that announcement about the investigation was because there was a rabid party, and it's insane. And Well, that's the other thing, is that Comey uh, announces this as a way of protecting, essentially, the integrity of Hillary Clinton, of, of the investigation and to protect Hillary Clinton and Comey himself from charges when she becomes president, that this is a vindictive move because Donald Trump had said that he was going to prosecute her. But left out of that equation is the fact that he's got to do this in light of the fact that the Republican Party is a bunch of lunatics. So, I don't know.